Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I'm sure most of you will get this sort of um, proportion of screen when you play your um, old arcade game. As you know, I'm a great fan of arcades. It's one of those things I really wanted to play when I was a child. Um, and uh, it's just amazing that I could put unlimited coins and go on about it. But the thing is, as you can see, because of the screen proportion, you got a bit of a gap on top and the bottom as well. Uh, well, there's a good size console for this uh, Mame um, game uh, emulator. Now, what I found out about this Escobar Fold 2 uh, screen is that it's amazing when you open it up. So let me show you that. This is amazing. So it feels like a great screen proportion size wise. It's just perfect um, for playing games. But one of the biggest uh, turn down is it's nothing to do with actually the uh, the action as well it's just the touchscreen system itself generally is is not really good sensitive wise you really need that button sensitive button to be pressed and um, one of the biggest side of the biggest disappointment with these thing is that in fact if you actually scroll up and down it's really difficult to choose all these games it just goes crazy like that so I really wanted to get rid of that problem so and also if I rotate it I know that it's going to get a bigger, bigger screen so what would be the good solution well I prepared this game um, Bluetooth controller which I presume it's called what is this called it's the um, IPEGA PG uh, slash so hyphen 902 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the unboxing and see whether how well it suits with the Escobar Fold 2 so here it goes okay so I think there's a bit of a sticker here so let's get rid of that first okay and I believe that's pretty much it isn't it okay and we got the actual thing any manuals nope so I believe I just need to um, I'm sure there must be some sort of ah okay ah so there's the USB charging plug there and um, inside is obviously that it must be that ah, let's just open that up all right so that's the another yet again very common uh, USB cable and uh, these are the manuals that you'll get so um, IPEGA I heard is very good and um, let's see if we could set it up so um, I press the start button and it's actually the amber light is flashing for searching so <clears throat> the other thing I noticed is that you need to pull this down so that whatever you put it on won't slide down downwards so let's put it on here good so it fits well for my Escobar okay that's good so <laughs> that's a really good size um, game console so it's searching oh here it is the PG uh, can you see that 9023s so let's pair it It's connected indeed without any security questions okay so let's see if it works so I need to go to the uh, Mame app okay so oh look at that well the bad news is it's still very sensitive when I scroll down and up but it works and I don't know whether I could get rid of those um, controller on the screen I mean the main purpose of it is to get rid of that right so if you read the manual carefully um, if you have any problems with pressing the button initially you have to download this shooting plus v3 so I have actually downloaded that and you can see after downloading it you get this button on the top left hand side corner so what you do is you press that and um, you press I would actually recommend to press the new and you'll see that A button popping up here, yeah? So that A needs to match with that A. So what I'll do is I'll put that A to A. Okay, and then you need to press that plus button. And then you can see that B. So when that B button pops up, 
we just need to drag it down here yeah so then press the um, another press plus button and if you get the X that needs to go to wherever that X fits to so that X is there so I need to put it there yeah so all the buttons are all set up so let's press the coin good um, and then start and then let's play good and all the buttons seems to be working very well so let's see how well it interacts with my control that's pretty good actually yeah very good very good see that uppercut that needs to be happen very good the only thing is what really annoys me is that these controller uh, are still showing on the screen so I'll need to figure out how to get rid of it now the biggest gain I have to say is when I um, press up and down it's very easy to do and if I want to do a quick move up and down that's I just need to flick it so that's the big gain I made by getting this controller so I'm very pleased and I'm sure there's other configuration that I could do but um, let me just enjoy my game for a while so anyway thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye